No one ever wants to see a child in pain, yet that's the reality for many children undergoing medical tests and procedures in hospitals. Staff members at CHAD, the Children's Hospital at Dartmouth-Hitchcock Medical Center, were determined to change that. We can stop the suffering that's associated with treatment for a disease or illness. And for a lot of people, that becomes the single most important aspect of the care of their kids. And what everyone's desire is, is just, I want my child to be comfortable. I don't want to watch them suffer. And we can do that. Tests and procedures can be painful, like a bone marrow test or treatment of a fracture, requiring a needle or other invasive device. Children can encounter frightening situations, like an MRI study, which requires a child to lie still for up to 45 minutes in a narrow tube, surrounded by strange noises. The pain-free program was the idea of Dr. Joe Cravero and other health care providers at CHAD. Thanks to the generous support of Ronald McDonald House Charities of Eastern New England, the program opened in 2002 in a newly dedicated space as the Ronald McDonald Comfort Corner. What this program grew out of was a frustration for me from having been a pediatrician in a hospital and then having been an anesthesiologist and understanding that we really have tools, we have drugs, we have techniques, and there is expertise in the hospital that can really treat most of the problems that we as pediatricians deal with with children in the hospital. Dr. Cravero worked with other CHAD staff members to design a new approach to managing pain for children who come to the hospital. The pain-free program relies on a fully integrated team approach to health care. Anesthesiologists work with child life specialists, nurses, pediatricians, parents, and patients to provide the best experience for every child that comes to the comfort corner. Grayson Donovan is a five-year-old who was born with a urinary tract disorder. Already, she's had several very stressful but essential diagnostic tests at other medical facilities. She's at Chad's comfort corner for the first time because of the pain-free program. Grayson is having a test called the VCUG, which requires the insertion of a tube into her bladder. Grayson had this procedure before and she did not have the pain-free program and it was very traumatic for her, as you can imagine. Children are first assessed by the child life specialist on their ability to tolerate a test or procedure without sedation. Distraction and relaxation methods, such as games or movies on a portable DVD, are used for children who don't need sedation. When they arrive, we just let the kids settle in a little bit. Basically, the room is, is theirs to explore. Once they're sort of able to, to relax a little bit, um, if they're going to be receiving sedation, I'll introduce the ways that they could receive sedation. It was determined that Grayson would get anesthesia. Once she's asleep, she'll be taken to another part of the hospital for her test. But she'll wake up back in the comfort corner with her parents by her bedside. The majority of patients who come to the pain-free program will receive this type of anesthesia. These two ways of managing procedures have made dramatic differences. Children come out smiling instead of traumatized, and the process leads to better, more efficient care. In the MRI scanner, we've increased by 25 percent to 30 percent the number of scans that we do in a day since we've put this program in place. Cut down from two hours to one hour, the amount of time allotted for a renal scan, strictly on this basis that, again, it's more efficient to do these procedures for kids that aren't screaming and crying. So not only does it feel better in terms of the just general care and ethical parts of the treatment, but it's actually more efficient for us as a hospital. The Comfort Corner is a place where suffering and fear don't need to exist. But the services offered here are not completely covered by insurance. Financial support from many groups, like the ones who have already contributed, make it possible for CHAD to provide what we believe should be the standard of care for all children. So this um, has been very smooth and um, she's been very relaxed and I'm happy because I don't see her having the catheter placed and having her frightened and in pain. So I can't say enough, <laughs> I think it's great.